everybody. It is the seventh uh, of September, twenty twenty-three, uh, ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so far no rain. Yeah, sorry for no podcast last week. Everybody, just a lot of stuff happens. Don't want to get into it. Life happens, as we, as uh, some of us always say. Uh, all right, so uh, we got a lot we're going to talk about today. Go over a couple of different things. First off, was talk box office numbers. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Meet Mayhem. I know it's supposed to be being released on streaming platforms here pretty soon, so mm -hmm. we'll probably be able to watch it uh, mm -hmm. pretty soon. On probably probably either be on Amazon or uh, Paramount. Yeah. Or both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. um, domestically, it's done a hundred and seven million nine hundred and eighty thousand seven hundred eighty five dollars internationally for uh, 44 million nine hundred thousand worldwide total of 152 uh uh 100 152 million eight hundred and eighty thousand seven hundred eighty five dollars it's made twice in it but it's done a lot of um merchandise sales though from what i've heard well, i don't doubt that at all so that that's a good thing for them Oh, uh, we'll check it out. The the animation, it, it's all right. The the artwork, it's it's not. I don't think it's going to be fully my cup of tea, but we'll watch it, and we'll we'll you know. I guess the best way to put it is, you know, we're not going to do judgment until we see it. Then we'll give our opinion. Mm hmm. Uh, Blue Beetle. It's finally been out around like a month. Um, and it's only reached worldwide, a hundred and domestically only fifty eight million seven hundred thirty one thousand and fifty eight dollars internationally forty five million nine hundred thousand for a worldwide total of uh, one million and uh, four dollars six hundred uh, one, one million and four six hundred thirty one thousand and fifty eight dollars. That's not that good. No. And that's the that was one of the big things we were going to talk about a little bit, everybody, was the, uh, you know, like James Gunn really uh, pushed, you know, we're going to... His agenda. I wouldn't say his agenda. Like, he, he's a, don't get me wrong, he, he, he has good ideas and everything, but, you know, even when Marvel was starting out with the MCU, they didn't bomb that bad. And I know some people are like, oh, it's superhero fatigue and everything. I think, and I'm going to sit there and say this, yeah, Blue Beetle, I don't think Flash helped any. I think Blue Beetle would have done good. It didn't have a setup movie. There wasn't something to set it up. And that's that's a lot. It kind of came out of left field on most people. Unless... At my age, most people wouldn't know what a blue beetle is. Yeah, but Dad, th this ain't the same blue beetle. This is I the fourth that. incarnation of blue beetle. I understand that, but still. I know, I know. You say blue beetle, people look at you like, what? What's a blue beetle? They don't have a I blue beetle. Well, they do and they don't. This yeah. this iteration of blue beetle, blue beetle has been around for about a de over a decade now. Yeah. Uh, but I... I, I've some people said they went and saw the movie. Um, they said it's really not a bad film. They said they said it really isn't, but it doesn't have the box office feel that it should have. They said it feels more like a very good TV movie, like a really good TV movie is what they said. Um, I know. And I and I, I don't I think everyone's gun shy also after the whole uh, you know the whole flash thing which mm. and we were really hoping everybody it, it was going to be good we really really were but we you know we decided not to go see it we heard some other people went and saw it and they're like I was disappointed like I've not disappointed but disappointed yeah. Uh, there's a local critic, everybody, that we, we actually know him personally. Uh, we don't always agree with him on uh, film stuff because he used to he used to run and own a comic book shop. 
And we we said, but nah, nah, you know. And it was his opinion and everything. Uh, but on our local, on our on, on our Fox Six uh, WBRC news station, he they always call him up for movies because he he does do honest movie reviews. He yeah. didn't give this a good one. Like he, he's just kind of. There's a difference when he says to us, said, it, he said a lot of people might like it, but it's not my cup of tea. He didn't have that attitude. He, he was just kind of like, I, we looking at his body language, everybody else is kind of like, ooh, I know that. That, that. that is like, this film sucks. So we, we didn't go see it. And it's a good thing we didn't, you know. Uh, and I hate it because Michael, because it, it killed Michael Keaton from doing the Batman Beyond film that everybody wants him to do. Because he is a good actor. Uh, at least for now. Yeah. Hell, you know you know what? And I don't care what anybody's sister and says. I know everyone does like the multiverse thing, like you had three Spider Man. You know, let's screw up. L let's do this. Let's have a triple Batman movie. Let's have three different Batmans in one film. Let's have Ben Affleck. Let's have, uh, unfortunately, we can't have Val Kimmer, everybody, because Val Kimmer's not in the best of health. Um, we can't have Adam West because he's passed away. Kevin Conroy's passed away. But, you know, who we could have, well, live action wise, you know who we, who we could have? All right, we can have Michael Keaton, mm -hmm. Batman, okay? As much as everybody doesn't like it, you can put George Clooney Batman in it. Yes. Because he, he would do it. Yeah, he would. And if you have Ben Affleck, do you have three different Batmans? Yeah. Now, I, I know some people will be like, ah, I'm going to probably, yeah, but that would be kind of... That would definitely be different. That would be different. Three different Batmans, three th things. Move differently in, in a sense, have different tech. All right, and they can all blame it on the flash. Why are we here? I don't know. The f Barry, the f oh, you got a Barry too. Yeah, I do. It screws up the timeline all the time, you know. Yeah, well, that'd be a way you could bring it in. So, I mean, hell, I go to see it. Just see it. I, I go see it. Now, nothing against Robert Patterson's Batman, but I think it would be too soon to pull him into that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Robert Patterson's Batman, uh, his film's not supposed to be coming out till 2025 in October. Well, we won't be holding our breath on that. That'll be a while. Yeah. Now, everyone, this is a sequel to The Batman, uh, which actually was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Because uh, even I had to hurt when I heard it was Robert Patterson uh, going to be Bruce Wayne. I was just kind of like, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh, uh, and we'll the, go see you oh, then we'll, And I, I have to tell you. We were pleasantly surprised. Oh, you say you want, you need to speak up because you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, <clears throat> we were pre pleasantly surprised. Yeah, no, I know we were. We, we were Holy uh, crap, this is good. <laughs> Cinematography is good. good. We still got to do our full uh, detail review of that. We got to get back on that script. Because, um, yeah, everybody, that film was just so good. There's so much in it. Well, I don't know who the villain is. I know it ain't going to be the Joker. Thank God. Thank you. Um, I mean, like, if you're going to do like a third or fourth film, bring the Joker in then. But there's other villains you could. Do I? Th I don't know. I, I'm hoping either they do Clayface or Mr. Freeze. Those are the two I love for them to do. With the technology now, you could do, or you could do both. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to have both of them in the film. Because Mr. Freeze could kind of like Clayface's morphing ability. Mm -hmm. With this being a darker universe in a sense, where they actually have murder, mm -hmm. you know. Scarecrow, too. I think Scarecrow would be good for the third one, personally. Mm. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But right now, everybody, it's not looking good for the uh, for the DCU, DC expanded, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's really not. Like, I, I'm... They kind of shot themselves in the foot. We predicted that. Well, they got rid of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, from his Black Adam film, which I heard was not bad. We didn't go see it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Life. And then 
Uh, they, they, they got rid of Henry Calvin, so it's just supposed that they were setting up to do a, a, a Trinity fight between uh, Shazam, Superman, and Black Adam, which the, every, that, that's one of the biggest icon like right there. And the Shazam movies, everybody was, they were good. Like, they were very comic booky, but they were very good. Uh, Uh, let's see. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. Uh, of course, there's always rumors about uh, Marvel, uh, which I'm not. Uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, supposedly, uh, Disney's also pulling back on Snow White after the backlash the past couple of months or weeks. And, you know, the grandson of the original director of Snow White. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, he had every right to. I mean, I, I mean, my grandfather's work. Yeah, it's. Literally. It's not the grim tale, but it's just like you're insulting my grandfather for, you know, bringing a classic in. I mean, you're she. Going all woke. Well, she pretty much insulted anybody who worked on the original. And oh, that, yeah. that that made me mad, too. I was like, wait a minute now. This is. Yeah, it was close to 100 years ago when this film came out, you know. Well, about 80 years ago, okay? But it's still a classic. It's a classic fairy tale that was reimagined in a lighter tone. Because, you know, the original version, everybody was a lot darker. Uh, oh, the Grimm, of course it was. Uh, and you guys, look at the Grimm fairy tales. They had morals involved in them. But they were very, very, very dark. It was, it was meant to... Because you got to think, though, it was... They didn't have the things we have nowadays, so the, you know, they were meant to scare children to do the right thing. They weren't. Oh, everybody, listen! If you don't do the right thing, that will happen to you. Yeah. Uh, but so a lot of you know, they they they're shooting themselves in the foot. So, uh, duh, 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 duh. Trying to find something real quick. Movies, TV, music. Mm, not yet. Uh, I had something in my head. Um, of course, oh, Expendables Four comes out next month. I do know that. Looking forward to seeing that. And I think the only other film we're going to go see is Marvel. The Marvels. Which I haven't heard much about that. Love to see how it pertains with, um, well, the current film right now. Let's go, uh, series we're watching. We're watching, we started Secret Invasion last night, well, the other night, everybody, and it's good. We just watched episode one, and it was. Well, if you're in my age group, it's very much along the lines of a Cold War spy type film. Mm hmm. I don't mind that. I was gonna say, move, move, move a little closer. That, to... That's what it is. I mean, it's very much Cold War. Well, that that's fine. That doesn't yeah. bother me. Uh, let's see what's going on in video game news that I can think of right now. Uh, rumor has it supposedly the, the new Nintendo system is supposed to be talked about next year. It's supposed to be released next summer or next year. I highly doubt that. It's probably just gonna be an upgraded version of the Nintendo Switch that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. If they come out with an upgraded version, that's fine. It does not bother me. Nintendo can continue, and I know people want more power, more graphics, but the Switch has been selling good. Well, the main thing I can see is more uh, that data, but 
and out of usage, but storage. Uh, bigger, bigger files. Well, uh, I found out that you can have various, uh, you can buy flashcards, and the flashcards yeah. can hold, you know, like you can have these flashcards hold the save data and everything for this yeah. game, the basic save data and like the DLC and stuff, and then the uh, you can switch them in and out. So I did find that out. <laughs> but I still want to get us another Switch. Uh, just because, you know, some of the games we play. Uh, speaking of games, and I, I want to talk to you about this a little bit. So now, one, uh, of course everybody knows the new Mortal Kombat's coming out here at the end of the month. As long as uh, the new Spider-Man 2 games come out. Now, uh, I don't know how this is, how they're getting up. The actors are trying to stop, you know, newer video games from coming out because, you know, with the uh, strikes going on. I uh, haven't heard much about that. They, it was a blip last week again, and it kind of died down. Or is it just me? Well, the so-called news that we get and don't get hasn't said much about it recently. Yeah. Uh, so... Going on to video games, you know, of course, we got a lot of AAA titles. I think we got that being released. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter's coming out soon, and uh, Spider Man 2. Those are all for the next gen system. Uh, of course, Naruto Ninja Storm Connections releases in November. Um, I don't know. I, uh, after the last game I bought, I wish there was more games like that. Like, everyone doesn't, uh, who don't know, I pre-ordered a long time ago. Uh, last year, I pre-ordered the limited run special edition of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge game. Came in, I had to go buy another one because of the case it was in. Uh, which, I didn't want to open it. And... I'm going to show my parents. I was like, I don't want to open this. I want to go buy another one. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, I know it did. But no, that's fine, though. No, it's fine. Um, but you've had a blast with that game since you started playing it. I even bought the DLC. And DLC yeah. has a survival mode and added two new characters. And, I mean, it flows right. It feels like an old-fashioned beat-em-up. You know, walk a little bit, beat some people, uh, characters up and everything. An old arcade game. You don't have to say it like that. You, you, you kind of sound okay. Like, arcade game. Yeah, you start sounding like you're in Mortal Kombat for a second. Okay. Is your throat okay? You need water or tea, don't you? No, it's fine. I mean, from what you see in the gameplay, I mean, would you rather see more more games like that out and about than? Yeah, there ought to be a, a balance. There needs to be. Yeah, they could put more of those out. I mean, I like the Mario Brothers. Now, like, Mario um, Odyssey was really, really fun to play. And I know I'm playing through, like, trying to get all the stars. And it's a challenge because it's just a 3D thing. Um, but, and I know they got the new Mario Wonder coming out next month. It's a new 2D side-scrolling Mario game. Those always do good, but... I guess also is... Like, th this game is an easy pick em up play for a little bit and put it down. Like, I like the fighting games. Uh, and some of the other ones. But this one just... It, it really, in my opinion... Felt like something from, like, 20 years ago. And I don't mean that in a bad way, everybody. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, coming out also next year is G.I. Joe, um, a new G.I. Joe game. And it's a beat-em-up also. Now, we saw a little bit of the gameplay of it. Uh, it's not called, uh, I think it's Attack of Cobra. I think what it's called. Uh, let me look. Let me look online real quick. I can't remember the exact name. Wrath of Cobra. 
Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, batteries died, so I had to switch them out real quick. Okay, so like I said, G.I. Joe Wrath of Cobra. Um, it looks a little slow, just a little bit, on the characters, but this is also the first gameplay we saw of it. Yeah. So I'm thinking they'll probably speed it up a little bit. Pick it, it up. It looks very cartoony. I know some people are like, oh, it's not as good as Ninja Turtles. It's just a slap-on. Da-da-da-da-da. Uh, you know, I got the last G.I. Joe game, and it was... I would have to sit there and say the last G.I. Joe game, to me, felt... Uh, I still haven't fully beaten it yet. It felt maybe like a low-tier PlayStation 2 game and a high-tier PlayStation 1 game for the PS4. Yeah. I'm still enjoying it. Well, that's all that matters. I know. I know, but you know how people are. Uh... That's uh so th this one I'll, I'll I'm definitely gonna pre-order through GameStop and then um excuse me and if and I'm laughing about this and if uh there's a limited edition I'll I'll order it also. You're right, I left. Okay, that uh with, with that said, uh, it just came across my news feed also everybody. Uh, and this is coming from, um, the direct, all right, and like I say, it just came across on my, on my phone, everybody. Uh, oh, well, it was posted on March 29th, 2023, but why did it just show up now? Really? Okay, so supposedly, yeah, Clayface is in it. The Riddler and Ping, uh, the, 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 the Penguin. Oh, there's going to be two notable versions of Clayface from the comics. Somebody went to sleep at the switch. So there's going to be two, probably two Clayfaces. Well, that's not a bad idea because there originally is, uh, in the comics, there's more than one Clayface. So we'll just have to see. Uh, let's see how it is. Five months later, before you got the notification? That's <laughs> weird. I know. That's eh, eh. Google. What do you expect? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're probably not the only ones that got it late. Yeah. So, uh, that's all I have right now. I'll uh, probably do... Uh, spooky season's upon us, everybody. So we'll, we'll probably have one or two podcasts directed towards just like Halloween and, and whatnot. We're we're already putting de up decorations up over here because of my my work schedule. Yeah. Well, I want to put a shout out too for the three artists that just passed this weekend from three bands. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I can't remember his name though. The lead singer from Smash Mouth. Hold on. More your gen than mine. Uh, yeah, Steve Harwell uh, passed away. Uh, was one of the founding members of Smash Mouth. Oh, 56, my bad. Yeah. Um, everyone's got to understand, though, Smash Mouth was an alternative rock band uh, from the 90s, everybody, to the early 2000s. And a lot of people like the music. It's just good, fun music. It really yeah. is. Uh, to be taken serious. Just a good time. And that, see, I, that's the type of music I miss because it's kind of like it's just music you can put in, you know. Have it in the background. Uh huh. Um. Okay. So yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, this past week. Uh, who else? Dead was it? Okay, from the 1970s, his music, Gary Wright. Oh, Gary Wright? Yes. Ah, okay. Probably his most memorable song was Dream Weaver. It was very pseudo uh, 60s. Um, with a, um, psychedelic type. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Good song. Oh, yes. A very good song. Good slow dance song. People about my age. 
Uh, and what was the last one? Mr. Margaritaville himself. Okay, well, tell that who it is to the audience, Dad. Some of them might not know who it is. I just had a brain, you know what? His face. Senior moment. He started off in country and then got into kind of a semi calypso type music. All right, I'll look up real quick. Huh? What was the name of the song? Margaritaville. And he's a very wise investor. He's worth over... Jimmy a, Buffett. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett. He's worth over a billion dollars. Yeah, he was. Um, And he was a trained pilot. Hmm. He'd been in the Air Force. Interesting. Uh, he had hotels and resorts all, all over. Hmm. That, that's, that's interesting to know. Well, um, everybody, um, you get to try to find some of their music, listen to it. It's, uh, all their music really is really good. Um, but our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of those, of those gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's... It, yeah, it, right there in a row, it's kind of wild. One, two, three, yeah, I know. It's just weird, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, with that said, everybody, we're going to end the podcast for today. Remember to like and subscribe to us here. It really does help us out. We are going to be talking a lot more also about music uh, here and tapping more into like the video game stuff, not just movies. Uh, just the past couple of months, it's been, I know it's been a lot about movies in the past year. It's been slow. Right. Music scene. Yeah, uh, music seems been a little bit slow. So we're going to talk about different things here and there. Sometimes just the favorite song we like and why. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Uh, going to kind of break out a little bit more onto onto some different things. Uh, here, you know, still going to talk about other things, but it's like, oh, we're going to talk about one or two songs and why we like them. All right. Uh, remember, also we have a Facebook page. Everybody, uh, be safe this weekend. Um, now, if we don't have a podcast next weekend, it is due to the fact that I am drained, and the reason why I'm saying I'm drained is because I don't. I got jury duty, everybody, on Monday, so I don't know if I'm gonna be uh, if it's gonna be a one day thing where they don't. Oh no, y- y'all good, or if I'm gonna be stuck there for a while. The whole week. Because if I'm stuck there the whole week, everybody, guess what? I still have to go to work on two on Saturday and uh, Sunday. So. I got hope that you're not on a jury that carries over to the next week. Or one that could be for a couple months. I've already decided if I get one for a couple months, let it go through the freaking holidays. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that? Uh, I won't get a day off, but, you know, I just have. Okay, everybody, with that said, uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. We are out.